So I, I like to start with the eyes. Uh huh. Um, it's tricky because, you know, we want to invoke him, mm -hmm. but we also are not allowed to violate international copyright law. So I think the trick to this one is uh, so I get the rest of the, the face here. Yeah. Um, and I, it's very obvious who this brilliant character is uh -huh. at this point because he looks just like the guy. Um, but it's, yeah, but, spitting image. But now I'm gonna like give him a big afro or something that's different, you know? Totally. And that's the kind of stuff you have to make here at art school, Jeff. Uh, welcome to school. Uh, thanks. It's uh, it's great to be here at art school. School. Art school. School with a Q. Um, also all caps, that's important too. Oh, okay. So this is art school. I don't know much about this game. I played about 10 minutes of it with Jan here and it's weird, but I like it. Mm -hmm. It's weird in a way that I can get behind. Uh, so kind of the game starts out and uh, well, let's just go meet my professor. Okay. Uh, <gasps> oh, what? I, land I landed on a... Jeff, this wasn't, this isn't part of the... Okay. That's, is there like a secret here? No? No. Nope. Okay, well. So this is my professor. Uh, he's a computer-generated art critic. Okay. Who runs my... Oh! Oh, nice! It's my first day. Uh, I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know anything about this game other than it's weird and cool. So I don't know if these <laughs> ah, yes. weird and cool. are real stats. I don't know if it like actually has an algorithm for figuring out points, but this is my first day. I've been getting a lot of C's. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my next assignment is to draw a nice little scene that would feel good to plop down for a sec. And then it kind of just randomly transports you to a part of this world. Uh, and the world is getting stranger and stranger uh, you're encouraged at the beginning to kind of explore your environments for inspiration. Yeah. But outside of that, you're also trying to find stuff like brushes and colors. Oh. You just start with a line tool and black. Um, what more would you need? Well, it turns out there's more than one color. I, uh, which I didn't know before I entered I don't art know school. about that. That's. Uh, some, some of these geodesic domes. I feel like this is one of those games that is going to turn into another game, Jeff. At any moment, like it's yeah. just gonna strip away the facade and be like, oh, by the way, welcome to hell. Welcome to Frog Reaction 6. Yeah. Uh, we're really subverting it by going straight to 6. That's right. So I'm, I'm just kind of walking, this is the biggest area I've kind of been put in, but I wanna, oh. Oh yeah, okay, that's. Oh, what? If you can't find inspiration for a nice little scene to plop down in. I'm on like a weird chess. Did I just move that piece? Okay. There's this art and destruction. That's true. Um, I took an art class once and the teacher said chaos is the root of all art. Oh yeah. Which I don't agree with, but let's, uh, let's, draw, our, let's draw our plop down here. Uh, I want to get like a nice, what a nice yellow background. Mm -hmm. so we're just gonna. Jeff, I don't. I don't remember the name of it, but there was a game last year. Uh, I think it started with a P. That was about making art and selling it. Yes. To critics. There was. Yeah. And, and that's all I can tell you about it because <laughs> I can't remember what it's called either. But yes. I, I. I. For the life of me, tried to find out what the name of it was earlier, but I couldn't because googling. Art game <laughs> and the painting game aren't really good ways to find out what you're looking yeah. for. Uh, you need to Google, uh, I'll teach you a little something about Google, you need to Google Jerry Rice and Nidus <laughs> art game. Dead dog. Dead. And, you know, so I, I played a lot of that game because I found it really relaxing to just paint. Mm -hmm. There's something about it, you know? There's something about just like, Sitting back and taking your time. With like very basic early Photoshop tools. Yeah, totally. I used to, yeah, I mean, I had a, I had a Koala pad, which was like a, a, a touch pad, like a pad and pen kind of thing for uh, the Commodore 64. 
and you could just use it to just draw art. Um, and I drew a lot of really bad stuff. Like, uh, like this. Yeah. It's his hat. That's a, a hat. It's an alright. I like those long bill hats that are all the rage now. Yeah. So I think this is a nice little scene I'd like to plop down into. Yeah. I mean, the, your friend there is smiling. <laughs> and so you just draw a thing and then jump off the world to get graded? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm on fire here. Wow. My, you know, my first quarter at art school wasn't going great. <laughs> Here's my next assignment. Mm. Jeff, what are you afraid of? Um. Hmm. Oh. What am I afraid of? I don't know. I feel like I've come to terms with a lot. Um. I ain't scared of shit. Okay, here's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, oh, I, wait, I wouldn't I want to do your it. homework for you. That's. Yeah, art is personal. You can't, like, yeah. talk about another person's experience. I used... I have an answer. Okay. Scorpions. Oh. What if... It, okay, check this out. A spider with scorp... With, like, fucking... Okay. Like a lobster? Yeah, it's like a... It's like a scorpion spider. Mm-hmm. And then... Er, of course, he's got a... Have the legs. Yeah. That got, like, makes him pants. ten times scarier because if a top half, like a torso spider with hammer pants was coming at me with like scorpion or like pinchers. I have to answer the second part of it. Okay. I like the sound effect for when you're drawing. Yeah. I like a lot of the, it's very, this is a very muted game, Yeah. but I kind of like it. I like getting graded. It, my, my biggest problem with art. Hey. Oh, yes. Let's go. My biggest problem with art is I never know what to draw. Yeah. Having these, these things kind of. You want to take a crack at one? No, man. This is your right. art. Um. So I gotta listen to the room we're in. I'm gonna take off my headphones here and draw the sounds that I hear. <sighs> I wish I had a green pen, because I feel like that's the this, this color of the sound that I'm hearing right now. Making a, a real green noise. Yeah, like green and brown. Brown note. I'm famous for my brown notes. Have you ever... Poop my pants? <laughs> Got on YouTube and looked up Brown Note. No. Okay, I gotta figure out who it is on the on the Giant Bomb YouTube account that's going in and looking at all those Brown Note videos. We get to the bottom of it one of these days. No, those aren't Brown Note videos. Those are Brown Noise videos. Oh, what's the wait? What's the difference? Like, there's white noise. There's pink noise. Like, it's different kind of waves that are that are coming together that, you know, like a, a white noise machine might be something that people use to get to sleep. What's a brown noise machine? It's a brown noise is just a different kind of selection of waveforms. Is it harsher? Is it a lot? I bet it would be less harsh than white noise. It would be a little more muted if I had to guess. Draw something from the top down. Okay. So I... I I just like drawing. I use kid pics a lot. Were uh -huh. you ever a kid pics? No, I think user? that might have been after my time with. I'm gonna draw things. this this thing we're on, from the top. Yeah, I almost feel like that would be the expectation. Like, can you get the camera? Is do you have any kind nope. of camera control? Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> the camera control is directly tied to your movement. Okay. Um, but I can visualize this. Okay, so there's that yellow. There's the yellow thing on the side, with the teal. 
It'd be cool if you had a, a color picker that you could use to click on the world and oh, take colors from the yeah. world that way. And then there's this guy in the middle. On the top, it looks like that probably, right? Sure. I guess a little yeah. more rectangular, but don't worry about that later here. It's covered in purple goop. What's your favorite kind of purple goop? Um, you know, like a like a dark kind of purpley, grapey, bubble gummy kind of thing. Mm, yeah. Like a bubblicious. Like some sort of gross syrup. Yeah. Oops. Like you left a pack of Bubblicious on the dashboard and the gum somehow melted. Oh, yeah. That's some purple goop. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah. And you know what? I'm actually worried about this one because I think this is maybe a little too literal for art school. Mm. I feel like art is about breaking expectations, right? Yeah. But I think if you look at your body of work, this does break from expectations. Oh, shit. This is like Picasso's normie period where he just yeah. like drew portraits of guys. Yeah, it's like, here's a dude. I met him. He's a mechanic. His name's Mort. Say hi, Mort. Picasso's famous muse, Mort. Yeah, I'm Mort. He painted me. We're good. He gave me $85. What? It's too literal. My approach? <laughs> you, you were right, I guess. Oh my god. See, this makes me wonder if it's actually graded. Like, if there's Like, what does meaning. this mean? Yeah. I want to discover the mysteries of this game. I feel like there has to be some... What? Oh, I guess I could go in that door. Oh. No, dude, it's a marshmallow from the top down. Yeah, I, um... Kind of wonder if it's fake, and it, like if if everyone playing the game goes in the same order of you get a bunch of A's, then you get an F, and then yeah, I we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what this does. I wonder if part of it is like how much time you take. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like, uh, you know, I don't want to put any sort of game in a, in a hole or any sort of behavior. I'm game. always putting games in holes. But I think this, this might line up with the pantheon of Soldier Boy games that you like to play if you like to get high and drink. Mm. Um, just like a nice casual experience. I, know. I wonder if it goes somewhere. I wonder if it does have that turn of like, oh, by the way, now you're in the devil world and the, the professor's asking you to paint all kinds of demonic shit or whatever. Is that a knife with a spear sticking out at the this top is of a, it? This is a little... Okay, it's a little skateboard. You know what this is. I know, okay, yeah. That's a, that's a Fortnite. Little D-pads, some buttons here. All right. Grade me, boy. Woo! -hoo. Always the best thing to shout when handing in your homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I want to just kind of see if I can blitz through a few of these and see if any... That, those stats look way higher than my A. Hmm. Okay. Extreme close-up of this purple plant. There has to be something here. Oh, come yeah. on. Okay. He thinks you're faking it. But art is supposed to be whatever I want it to be. Right? Well, if that was the case, then why would anyone go to art school? Oh, you're telling me, man. <laughs> art school, they ain't gonna teach you. You know what they teach you at art school, man? How to fucking smoke cloves. <laughs> they teach you how to 
steal a bunch of your parents' money and throw it in the fire. But I guess that's also art because like the Joker did it, remember? Remember when the Joker burned yeah. all that money? Yeah, the Joker burned all that money and then uh, deleted his entire music catalog <laughs> and made a documentary out of it. Jeff, I like art. I like uh, drawing. I like games where you can just chill out and there's not really rules. Uh-huh. And I think for whatever reason, I'm gonna see this thing through. No, I, I, I definitely want you to see this through because I want to know if you just get to the end of 50 assignments and it just gives you a grade. It's like, thank you. And, or if there's something, you know, will something else happen? I also want to see what you think costs $34 and 42 cents. I kind of feel like, you know, well, whatever. I'm not going to like tell you how to make your art. But I was about to say, I think using letters in your art is cheap. Cheap well, is the I, art. I want to specify that it's a used copy of... Call of Duty World War II. Yeah, those games hold some value, but yeah, the used ones are definitely... Like last, not last year's Call of Duty, but the one yeah, before right. the GameStop. Uh -huh. I feel like, and you can tell it's... Jesus Christ, I, <laughs> I was going to, I thought, what's the first thing that comes to mind that I can draw to represent that it was World War II? <laughs> Turns out I don't want to draw that. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how this does. Why do they say frosh? I mean, why? Because in, 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 it's art school with a Q, I guess. But like, no, I've, I've heard it referred to as like the frosh. Like, frosh, not froshman, but like I've seen the term, like the term frosh is real. That's a real is term. It? When referring to like freshmen. I feel like I've heard that in the context frosh of... Frosh is a noun, meaning college freshman. I've heard that in the context of like maybe a, like a SoCal dude saying it. Yeah. You know, a classic SoCal dude. Frosh week. Is that just the first week of school? I guess so. I Froshman know. 45. Apparently it's a thing in Canadian colleges. I got a wiggle pencil. What does that do? Wiggle. Oh yeah! This Listen is, to that thing. This is very kid picks. All right, I'm back on board with this game. I was never off board, but the yeah. fact that I just got a kid picks pen is that a, uh, is that like a, um, like a dumpling, like a shrimp? It's like a. Is that, is that like a, a gyoza with, but like a like a caterpillar side to it. I mean, I shouldn't have to explain my art. I feel like it loses value if I do. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to explain it, then. But it's yeah, it's don't. a sort of gyoza man. Um, okay. Which is just a bad idea. You shouldn't turn food into people. Because no. I don't know if you get hungry. Yeah. What if you get hungry? I'm hungry right now. I am hungry too. Let's go see what's behind this door. Yeah, I mean, you're, you know, if you just sit and draw, you're never gonna find things like the fucking wiggle pencil. Do some exploring here. Well, I think more about my bad idea. I feel like this is a decent idea. I just need one more thing to really push it over the top. Uh, what if, uh, I don't know, what if you put some World War II stuff in there? <laughs> like, uh, the Russian flag. What's the mop? Oh. It's like a spray can, it looks yeah. like. Like the other danger is just using your new tools instead of making the art you want to make. Well, you know, art school is about, yeah, okay, this week we're going to do charcoal, yeah. and this week we're going to do motion drawing. And I only know this because I'm, uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Mm, now that's art. Jeff, I'm stuck in art. Can you uh, hit escape to submit art? or? No, but I can look at my portfolio. 
Oh, cool. Okay, good. I'm glad that this... I was, I was like, to what end at some point? I... Yeah, mm -hmm. you like mm -hmm. these? Oh, that was all right. Okay. I remember that one. Yeah, and then this, this is yeah. the rest. Ah! ah! <laughs> Good art makes you feel. That's right. It's about reactions. Yeah. That's why uh, I started my art reaction YouTube channel. Where I react to art. Well, Jeff, thanks for reacting to this art. Uh-huh. Uh, if I could just get like one more big pop, like one more like big react sound. Oh! Thank you. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe, and pound the fuck out of that bell. Bing. Wait, what bell? I, just, I don't know. <laughs> they say it at the end of videos now. <laughs> well, Jeff, thanks for taking a look at art school with me. I'm gonna figure out how to get unstuck in time and space, and then finish the rest of art school. I'm gonna report back to you. And, unstuck and in art, stuck in life. And let you know what my findings are. Yeah. Uh, thanks, everyone. Make sure to click the bell. Spell it up! <laughs>